All right, let's talk about the first and the oldest periodic table. Uh, this one is published on March 1st, 1869. It's way long back there, right, by uh, Dmitry Mendeleev. So he's um, a Russian chemist, right? Now, there's some, some feature about this periodic table that we're going to talk about today. So one, uh, if you look at the number of each element, we have hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. These are what we're familiar with. Um, the elements in this table are arranged by increasing atomic weight. Okay, 1, 7, 9, 4, 11, 12, 14, 16, and 19, and, go, and so on. Actually, it is 9.4, right? And, but if this list keep going. We're going to have a way, way too long of the periodic table. Mendeleev start over the new column. Uh, put sodium in here and gold, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, uh, chlorine, and back start over again with potassium with the intention that he will have um, the element at the same column. They have the same property. Okay, and he start over. Uh, you will learn it later. Lithium, sodium, potassium are actually in group one, and these guys, group one, are actually are um, react violently with water. They just explode with water. Okay, and um, so yep. So the uh, the <clears throat> that's a like a kind of feature of the first periodic table. All elements are arranged by increasing atomic weight, and the same uh, same property. They are in the same column. All right, and one of the one of the best feature of um. This periodic table is, take a look right here, the gap right here. Mendeleev knows that this is not it. We still have a lot more uh, elements that are uh, waiting to be discovered. So he leaves gaps right here and think that in the future, the chemists and scientists will, find, uh, will discover more and more elements and one day the periodic table will be complete. Okay, years later, uh, we pass through uh, like quite a few uh, the periodic table. So this one, I don't know what it look like. It looks like the game that you like. You toss a die and you go like you said. You toss a die, go to six. You go up six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> um, so, but I'm not gonna talk about this much. But I have seen this a few times. But it's not like the main uh, the uh, the periodic table that we use. Okay. All right. Now a bit more modern periodic table. So still not the periodic table that we have. And the only difference is this guy right here. This this version of the periodic table is way too long. So we cut right here, just these two uh, rows, put it at the bottom, and that is the current periodic table. All right. All right. So uh, in the periodic table, so uh, I'm going to teach you how to navigate the periodic table. You don't have to memorize it, and I hope so. I'm, uh, God, no, please don't memorize it. There's too many of them. Um, all right. <clears throat> what we got? So the yellow one, those are metals. Okay, we have metalloid along, uh, um, we call the stairs of the periodic table, and we have non-metal right here. Okay, all right, start with the metal right here. So just uh, something that you're familiar with. So we have iron, so you probably know. Uh, copper, we got gold, all right, we have uh, silver. And uh, so metal are solid at room temperature. They can be molded into a different shape because they're malle uh, malleability. Is it malleability? I know something like that, <laughs> and they conduct heat and electricity, right? And uh, all of them, all of them are metal except one metal that exists in liquid mercury, right there. It's very interesting how the only one exception, right? Uh, again, don't memorize this. We will we'll go over this many, many times, right? And I'm not gonna ask you what like metal is liquid in, in a, at room temperature. No, who cares? No. Um, <clears throat> now, next one, metalloid. All right, so metalloid is the purple one right here. All right, um, uh, metalloid are used primarily in uh, for um, in electronic devices or semiconductor. Um, you, this, we have boron, we have silicon. Silicon is used quite a lot uh, in uh, solar cell and in your electronic devices, your phone, your uh, laptop. Um, we have gallium, we have arsenic. Arsenic is quite toxic. Uh, arsenic is primarily used in an alloy with lead. So basically be mixed with, with lead, right? To use as in a car battery or um, in uh, some type of uh, semiconductor, okay? All right, and we also have non-metal. So you probably know carbon, we have two form. We have diamond or um, charcoal. Those are like, like pure carbon. Uh, we got phosphorus. Now we have, is it fullerene, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. If you look at the color, so color is quite different. We have a uh, kind of, uh, 
uh, yellow and fluorine. Chlorine is kind of greenish, right? It's kind of hard to say because it's dilute, but it's concentrated one is kind of green. Uh, bromine, so uh, fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is liquid, so uh, liquid right there, but it vaporizes easily. So you see kind of like uh, orange right here. So it's brown in color, actually. And iodine, iodine is solid, but in sublime. You will see the gas coming out, okay? All right, so all right now, <clears throat> Main group element, so this is how you navigate it. If I say group one, group two, so group one, group two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they are, they are eight groups total. In your textbook, so they're going to do group one, group two, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's fine because they count right here. So they go to one, two, group three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are 18 groups that's like in your textbook, but uh, the old style and some people still use this. We have group 1A, group 2A, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, A. So we, when I say group 4, I refer to 4A. If I say group 8, it's, it mean 8A. Eight, eight okay. Uh, we have B, group B groups, we call transition metal. Right. Uh, we will talk about this later, but just want to make sure you, uh, you, 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 we understand our communication. If I say group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I mean group 1A to 8A. Okay. If I say, uh, I'm not in transition metal and I will never say three, four, five, six. I would say transition metal. Uh, they have, uh, the same group with iron, the same group, uh, with the uh, uh, chromium, um, van uh, vanadium, something like that. Okay. So, and, uh, we have the group down here. These two, uh, these two groups. Yeah. I kind of, we kind of uh, call it the group right here. So, this one starts from cerium and thorium come from right here. If you say remember, we cut right here, cut this two group and put it down right uh, at the bottom, right? And uh, since cerium, the whole group right here, uh, follow lanthanum right here, so we call lanthanide. And we have thorium, palladium, uranium follow uh, actinum, so we call actinide group down here. Okay, and um, <clears throat> from top to the bottom we call column. From left to right we call period. Or role. Okay, so I say interchangeably. You can so call role, you can call period. So if I say, um, what's the element in group uh, 1A? So called as mean column one and period three. So we have to do like this is period, first period at the top, second period, third period. So period, third period, sodium. Okay, uh, let's find one more time. So, uh, uh, group six, that's, that means 6A, not 6B, right? Group six, period. Uh, said fourth period. First group six right here, all right? Uh, first period, second, third, fourth. That's selenium. Okay, something like that. All right. So in the new periodic table, so the elements are arranged by an increasing atomic number. So atomic number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not atomic weight. Not like Mendeleev did. Okay. All right. All right, so just a little bit about the name. So, uh, most element have, have abbreviation, but they all have abbreviation, but the abbreviation correspond to their name. For example, H, that's hydrogen. H, E, that's helium. Uh, boron, B, carbon, C, right? But there are 11 elements. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, there are 11 elements that the, their, name, uh, their abbreviation come from the Greek or um, some kind of Roman, something usually Greek, okay? For example, uh, sodium is not SA, right? So this is NA, come from natrium. Uh, potassium, K, come from kalium. Uh, kalium, K-A-L-I-U-M, kalium, right? Uh, we have iron, that's from ferrum. Uh, copper, that's from uh, cupram. Silver, that's argentum. Argentum is, um, let me check real quick, I think it's Indo-European name, it's kind of, uh, uh, refer to metal shininess. Yeah. So that's what we call Argentum. And guess what? Argentina, which is country, is the only country to be named after the chemical element. Yep. Argentum, Argentina. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have SN, that's tin, right? That's stannium. Uh, SB, that, uh, stibium. All right. We have, uh, PB, pump lam. That's lead, actually. That's what we, what we call it in English, lead. That's uh, in Greek, is in Latin, that's uh, pamblam. Uh, oh, I haven't said gold. Uh, gold comes from aurum. That's gold in Latin, right? Aurum means yellow, derived from the word aurora, 
Okay. And we have uh, the word HG, the, this is, this is uh, Mercury. HG is the original Latin name, uh, Latin name is Argentinum vivium, which means living silver, because uh, well, lead is kind of like, it, the, the, the color of um, lead is like silver, but it's liquid form, so kind of living, so it can move around. But it changed uh, later to hydrogyros, mean liquid silver. Okay, that's why we got hydra hydrogyrum, HG. But again, you don't have to memorize it. I, I don't really care. Okay, as long as you can navigate the periodic table, you're good. All right, so that's Argentina. Uh, go Argent Argentum Vivium living silver. So, yeah, look like silver. All right, and um, change with hydrogyros. All right, so new segment of our podcast. Fun with flags. <laughs> well, some of you have watched uh, the Big Bang Theory, the show on uh, CBS, and uh, so it's a main character to talk about uh, an interesting fact about flags, right? So we're gonna talk some of that. Uh, the oldest flag in this world. Here we go. We have Denmark flag. Other country have been changing flags after flag after flag throughout history. Denmark never changed. Danish flag uh, have been using this one since 1219. Really, really old. Um, the old uh, the South African flag. So this is this is a new one, right? The old one when we, it was uh, like it was like a, not a nation yet. I don't know, but this flag contained eight flags in it. So we have so if you look at this guy right here, uh, Dutch national flag. We have a uh, South African Republic. Uh, the, the whole thing here. Um, British colonial, I don't know where that is, somewhere in there. And then we have British Union flag, so right there, and the whole thing is South African flag. There are eight flags in it, okay? And we also have a similar looking flag. <laughs> so United States, of course, you know that, and anyone here knows what uh, country is this? Uh, I'm not sure, if, if some of you have your phone with you, if you look up Malaysia, I think it's Malaysia, but confirm with me, L look up real quick, okay? All right, next video, we're going to talk about uh, its group in the periodic table. Start with group one. All right.